Hello and thank you for watching this video. I'd like to start off the video by asking people to go to our website if you have not done so already and please register your information, uh, which was basically your email, so that you can vote in our upcoming uh, votes that will be taking place, including the triennial elections this summer. So if you've already registered, don't worry about it. We have about 90 people out there yet who have not yet registered. And again, our site is unifor88.ca. Um, I just want to talk about social media for a second. We have two main platforms that we update the membership through, our website and Facebook. Uh, we do do videos as well, but there's some people out there on social media who are posting a lot of information that maybe they misheard. It's just getting twisted and it's really causing a ripple effect to our members. Just if we have facts, we're going to put them out there and let you know what's going on when it becomes factual. Don't listen to a lot of the social media posts. They're just inaccurate. Um, Talks are continuing right now with Cami regarding what's going to happen uh, in April, which will be great, one shift, and we are going to decide through a vote if we're going to go one shift uh, using purified seniority or if we're going to rotate two shifts. We do not have an agreement at this point, but talks continue. Um, outside of that, things are beginning to happen. Postings are going to start going up this week, probably on Friday. The battery postings will not go up until we have an agreement with the company. We have that assurance from the company, but there are other postings that will be taking place this Friday, and that's one of the main reasons for this video. I'll be describing those in just a second. We are working with the company later this afternoon. Today is Wednesday. Later this afternoon, we are going to be working on a video of questions and answers from the videos that we took part in with the battery plant previously to try and answer all the questions. So hopefully by tomorrow that other video will come out that basically is a question and answer regarding the battery plant. Um, the Master Bargaining Committee has been out all this week. We are working on proposals for the upcoming um, bargaining and getting things ready, uh, just getting basically lined up. We are going to have a proposal sheet out for the membership. We plan on posting it tomorrow electronically and you'll have, I think, until March 16th. So like six weeks to post it or to fill it out. So it's electronically. If you need a paper copy, we can get you a paper copy. But we're please ask the members to just uh, take some time, fill it out. Let us know what you think about the upcoming negotiations. Um, so the rest of the video now is going to be about two job opportunities that are coming up for our membership. Uh, the first jobs I want to talk about, we have been able to secure work at the Woodstock Warehouse. It's a GM warehouse, a minimum of 12 people. Um, it will still be your full-time CAMI employment. You're just going to take your job and go to CAMI right now. Um, Woodstock is making a commitment for two and a half years, so basically to July 1st of 2026. It's available for everyone in the plant, regardless of your seniority, everyone can post. Um, if you post to Woodstock, um, these, these jobs are guaranteed, you have to stay there for a minimum of one year. So if you post, you're locked in for one year. You cannot quit and come back to Cami in three months. If you quit the Woodstock job, you're quitting GM. So you have to stay there for a year. Hopefully you'll stay there for two and a half years if you like it. But that's the, what, some of the rules around it. Um, the only way to get back from Cami after one year is to post. You can post back to any job at the Cami plant after one year and you can leave Woodstock and come back. You will hold your department rights if you go to Woodstock. So if you post out a QC to Woodstock and in two and a half years you ride it out till the end and you want to come back, you'll bump the junior person in the department that you left from unless you post prior to that. Um, you're going to bring all of your CAMI economic package with you to Woodstock. So your rate of pay, your pension, your vacation, everything will go with you when you go to Woodstock. You remain part of our bargaining unit. We have a contract coming up. You can participate in all the votes and any economic gains you'll get at the time of our contract. Um, but you'll also work under Woodstock rules, and there's a big difference. So you'll follow us for economics, but you'll follow Woodstock for Woodstock work rules as you're in their plant. Um, the postings are going to go up likely this Friday, the first ones. So these postings are likely going to go up every couple weeks, so keep watching the posting board. Um, but Woodstock works on straight shifts almost every job. So read the postings carefully. These jobs are going to be across all three shifts, but they may post straight days, straight afternoons, or straight midnights, depending on what's going on at the Woodstock plant. So watch the postings closely. Um, all the jobs are basically material handling. That's all they do at Woodstock. So anybody who posts must pass a material handling medical. That's a standard medical for everybody in our plant who posts the material handling. Um, the Woodstock jobs are based upon our battery plant. You're basically going to be arranging work and shipping empty battery cells to our plant. 
So expect a lot of overtime. Their hours are gonna resemble our hours. So if we're on a lot of overtime in the battery plant, you're gonna be on a lot of overtime in the Woodstock plant. Um, some things you really need to know about the Woodstock plant, all your vacation that you've currently booked till the end of June will go with you and they will honor it. However, Woodstock does not have a summer shutdown. So there is no two weeks off the first two weeks of July guaranteed. That's just the way they roll. Um, you are part of our bargaining contract again, so you'll vote with us. And if you, we get raises in September, you'll get the raises then. Um, you will book next year's vacation. So vacation starting July 1st, you will book at Woodstock as you are in their plant. Um, the start date will be as soon as possible. They wanna throw three jobs up this Friday, they think. For Woodstock, you will likely start within a couple weeks. So watch the posting board closely. These jobs should be coming up hopefully Friday and they may continue to come up for the next two to six weeks. Uh, the second postings we want to talk to you about will be based out of our main plant. It will be a production vehicle electrical problem solver. Uh, we are hoping this will grow to be more than one job and hopefully one per shift, but that's how we'll start it. Um, the company was looking at putting a contractor or a salary person into this position. We've talked to them and they do agree that a production person could do this job, but there's a couple strings attached. Again, this is for the main plant You'll be based in assembly, but everybody can post to this job because you will work across the main plant. You might have some issues in the battery plant you may have to go look at, but mainly it's going to be a main plant uh, job. Um, the posting is likely going to go up this week as early as Friday. Uh, I think it is going up Friday, but we always want people to be aware. Uh, when this job goes up, you do not post to this job. In order for the membership to gain this job, we had to agree that you had to do a test written and a bit of a hands-on test to qualify for this job. Again, you don't need to post. If you're kind of electrical techie and you're interested in this job, you have to be at the Union Hall next Tuesday, February 6th at 8 a.m. That's the only time there are no exceptions. At 8 a.m., whoever shows up at the hall will be seated and you'll have a half an hour to do a multiple choice question and a hands-on question after with two of the uh, group leaders from CAMI. After that test is complete, we'll take a 10 minute break. Uh, we won't, but the, the, you'll, you'll take a 10 minute break. The company will mark the scores and then the highest scoring people will stay back and do a third test. Everybody else will be able to go home. So again, it's next Tuesday at 8 a.m. at the Union Hall. That is the only time they will do this. They want you to start as soon as possible. So you'll likely come to work within the next couple of weeks. Um, as part of this job, you're going to be required to take in-depth training in the U.S. for three weeks. They don't know if it's going to be consecutive or if you can go, or if it's not consecutive, you can come home on weekends, but you must have a passport and you must be able to go to the United States. Um, the job will start off as straight days, but again, we hope the job is very successful and we hope to add one on each shift. So you'll probably get into shift work hopefully sooner than later. Um, and again, this is not related to the battery plant. This is mostly a main plant job. Um, so remember, you don't need to post. If you're interested, show up at the Union Hall. Um, I actually did part of the test. I farm on the side. I do a lot of my own wiring. I did the first five questions of this test. I only got one right. It is a very hard test. They are looking for a person who has electrical background. I'm sure there's some people out there. But if you're pretty good at electrical theory and in practice, please show up next Tuesday if you're interested. And uh, you'll have the test. And we'll have by the, by the next day, we should know who the uh, successful candidate is. Um, in closing, I just want to say a few words about the upcoming uh, um, vote. We are planning on having a vote to see if we're going to go rotating or just go by pure seniority. Um, I just want to stress, we do not have an agreement yet. We are still in talks. When we, when we get an agreement and when we have some facts, we'll do a video, we'll post it, and people will understand what's going on. Until that time, don't worry too much about the social media. I can't stop the rumors. They're never ending. But talks continue, we are getting there, and hopefully we'll have something for you within the next week.